Easter as well. But if you are interested in the Aurora Borealis, there's a good chance of seeing it again tonight. So do go and have a look at it. It's well worth it. It's quite spectacular. Now, this morning, for many of us, it's cool and it's frosty, and there is the risk of ice where, of course, we've had damp surfaces. And we've had damp surfaces in parts of the west and also the east. But there's a lot of dry weather around this morning and a lot of clear skies. But in parts of eastern England, it's not just rain we're seeing or showers. We also see a little bit of wintriness in the showers, especially with height. It's the same across the west as well, across parts of Wales, for example. There are some showers around this morning. Some of those are wintry, mostly with height, but at lower levels you could see a wee bit of sleet. Then as we move across northern England, it's the same in the northeast, but a lot of clear skies, a lot of clear skies, cold and frosty across Scotland as well. But for Northern Ireland, you've got more cloud around and also some splashes of rain. So here it's not quite as cold this morning. And through the course of the day, that will tend to weaken, but we will still see some showers left behind. Equally, a lot of the showers will fade across parts of the east. There'll still be some left. They won't all fade. And the same for Wales. We'll see some of them drifting down into the southwest. But for the rest of the UK, we're looking at beautiful blue skies. A bit nippy, mind you. Now, as we head on through the evening, again, most of the showers will fade. Fading last from the east and here too, there's the risk of ice. The temperature is going to drop quite quickly, but then we've got another front coming in from the west, introducing some rain, and on its leading edge, we'll see some snow. So it's going to be frosty as we push farther in towards central and eastern areas, but the temperature not as low in the west. And tomorrow, as that whole front continues its journey moving eastwards, it will tend to weaken. The brightest skies will be in the far east. Our weakening front will still produce some showers, and temperature-wise, well, we're looking at about 9 or 10 as we slip down towards the south. Then as we move on from Tuesday into Wednesday, well, we've got a potent area of low pressure coming our way. It comes in from the Atlantic, it's drifting southeastwards, and you can see it's not going to just bring us rain. The squeeze on those isobars also tells us it's going to be fairly windy, particularly so across parts of England and Wales, where the rain's likely to be persistent and also heavy at times. For Scotland and Northern Ireland, it's something a bit quieter coming your way. Again, there'll be some sunny spells around as well. Not particularly warm, although the temperatures are going to be picking up. We're looking at roughly, again, 6 to about 8 or 9 Celsius. Then you can see how the cooler air is usurped by milder weather coming our way. The yellows just push across the whole of the UK, indicating that as we head towards the end of the week, things are going to warm up. In fact, by the time we get to Friday, for some parts of the UK, not all, we could have temperatures 14, 15 or even 16 Celsius. So that's more like the spring-like weather that we're looking at. But with it comes more unsettled conditions as well. So there'll be more cloud around and there will also be a bit more rain at times too. And Times, it's also going to be windy. So a real mixed bag of weather this coming week, Dan and Lou.